everybody! So now we're here at Isuzu Bacoor with our new angel, so Ate Hani. So ngayon wala si Ma'am Nika, so if flash lang namin yung contact information niya para makontakt niya siya about sa details. Hello car buddies! It's my first time here at Bacoor and we're so excited to review this car behind our back. It's the Isuzu LSA D-MAX. So if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, you can click like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to click the notification bell for more updated videos. So, tara, mag-start na tayo. variants in three categories of the new 2024 D-MAX. The LSE, top spec, or mas kilala natin, lifestyle exclusive. The LSA and LSA Plus, lifestyle advanced. And the LT base model, so yung light truck. And this is the last video namin with Ati Darlene and Ati Melasu. We already introduced to you the new D-MAX LSE 4x2 version. And it's a new variant kasi before guys, ang only available lang ng LSE is yung 4x4. And yun na rin yung kanyang top of the line. So good job Isuzu Philippines because this new LSE 4x2 version has all the amenities of the top spec plus the 4x4 system. And buyers can save up to 250,000 pesos. And we believe na yung ibang buyers natin dyan, car view buddies, is mas consider talaga yung 4x2 kesa sa 4x4. So if hindi nyo pa napapanood yung vlog namin ng 4x2 version nila na LSE, pwede nyo siya i-browse sa aming channel, WPH. And for today's video, magpo-focus naman tayo dito sa new D-MAX natin, which is this 2024 D-MAX 4x2 LSA Plus Automatic Transmission. The current LSA 4x2 automatic transmission costs 1,470,000 pesos. Well, this LSA Plus is priced at 1,510,000 pesos. That's around 40,000 difference. So aside sa itsura niya guys, we will review to you the new amenities dun sa interior and exterior niya with Ate Honey later. And if ever naman na ang budget po is 1.5 billion and you may consider this pickup truck, the Isuzu D-MAX LSA Plus 4x2 version, the colors you can choose from are Onyx Black, Splash White, Namibu Orange, and Isla Grey. So pagdating naman sa engine natin guys, buksan muna natin. Engine is the same, which is 3.0 liter turbo diesel engine that is made to a six-speed automatic with sequential shift, capable of producing 190 PS and 450 Nm meter of torque. So ngayon naman guys, isaradan muna natin tong hood and pag-start na tayo sa exterior. So let's start guys exterior. So first, expect po talaga na malaki yung harap natin dito dahil pick up. And the pinaka obvious here is this front fascia. So new front fascia na siya. And kung napanood niyo yung vlog nila ati Darlene, makikita niyo na same lang sila ng design. So dito meron tayong grill here like flock of birds para sa akin yung itsura niya kapag malayo. Dahil para siyang may patrivdi effect. So Isuzu logo natin dito naka chrome. We have here a front camera, so wala tayo ditong sensors. And meron na rin pala tayo dito guys sa color combination dahil nga, as you can see, meron tayo ditong gray, dark chrome, and dito rin sa baba, may two-tone tayo dito sa may faux skid plate which is yung gray tsaka yung black. And meron na rin tayo dito guys sa black plastic na nagko-connect here sa ating fog lights. So, Dito meron na rin tayong black housing and 3D designs, functional air dump, sporty looking and color black. Tsaka nakita na rin namin yan sa Hilux GRS. And meron na rin pala tayo dito guys sa dalawang ilaw. So both are halogen. So meron tayo dyang DRL and yung fog lights. And sa headlight naman natin guys, um, compared dun sa ating LSE, itong LSE Plus natin is multi-reflector halogen headlight. And nandito na rin yung kanyang halogen turning signal light. So that's all for the front fascia. Now let's go to the side profile. Ang sukat pala ng gulong natin here guys is 265 over 60 R18. And same lang yung design niya do sa LSE version which is dark gray. And ang kanyang braking system is ventilated disc brakes sa front and sa rear naman is naka drum brake. So ang suspension natin here is 
double wish bowed with stabilizer sa harap and sa likod na body, semi-elliptical lip spring. Sa taas dyan naman guys, meron tayo new over fender which is naka-dark rig din siya. And nagko-continue siya dito sa mudguard tsaka dito sa stepboard natin. So yung sa stepboard natin is two-toed siya dahil may color black and color dark gray. Pagdating naman sa side mirror sa atin guys, well, dahil nga ang team ng ating new D-Max is dark gray, well, naka-dark gray na rin siya with LED turning signal light and side camera. So we have here a power fold and power adjust. And even the roof rail and yung door handle natin is naka-dark gray na siya. And nakakilis entry na rin pala tayo dito, guys. So, gato pala guys yung itsura na ating key fob. So, mahita lang natin dito is yung black plastic, unlock and lock, and yung physical key. So, here, napaka-plain lang doon kanyang spare key. Ang particular dimensions pala ng ating LSA Plus here are 5,277 mm by 1,880 mm by 1,810 mm. And yung wheelbase niya is 3,125 mm and yung ground clearance niya naman ay 240 mm. So sa likod pala ng LSA Plus natin here guys, is wala tayong makikita sports bar kagaya doon sa LSA. Good thing naman dahil meron tayo cargo extender na two-tone. So yung kanyang kulay and yung design is kagaya na dito sa over fender natin. So sa likod meron tayong third brake light, defoggers, and may pull type antenna naman tayo pero nasa unahan siya guys. So, proceed tayo sa likod. So, here guys, ang new rin dito sa ating new D-Max is this 3-wing tail light. So, dati kasi dalawa lang pero ay tatlo lang. So, we have here our LED brake light and our tail light. And sa kita naman natin guys, meron tayo halogen 30 signal light and halogen reverse light. At kung napanood yung review nila ati Darlene yung LSE variant, hindi nasa kita naman kasi doon is rear fog lamps. So, wala man tayong rear fog lamps here, meron naman tayong rear sensors. So, meron tayong apat. Yung door handle pala natin here guys is naka dark gray na rin siya with our reverse camera. And we have there the 3.0 TD or yung turbo diesel na badging. So naka chrome and even this yung Isuzu D-Max. Sa baba naman natin meron tayo dito step board na matibay, black plastic. And yung spare tar natin nasa ilalim so full size na siya. So buksan naman natin guys yung ating tailgate. So, similar lang siya doon sa LSE. So, meron tayong bed liner, four hooks, and ang, ang ating towing capacity is 3,500 kilograms. And ang kanyang payload naman is 1 ton. So, if ever na bumili kayo nito, may kasamang loob. Wow! <coughs> so, dahil tapos na tayo sa exterior to, ganyan man natin si Ate Honey. So, Ate Honey, hi! So, Ate Honey, hindi ko kasi kabisado yung safety features ng LSE Plus natin. So, pwede nyo ba sabihin sa viewers? So, meron tayong dual SRS airbags, ABS with EBD and brake assist, hill start and hill descent assist, rear sensors, around view camera, and ADAS is only available sa ating top of the line na unit. So, thank you, Ate Hani. So, dahil tapos na tayo dito sa exterior and sa safety features, samahan nyo naman siya, guys, sa interior. Hey, car buddies! So, I'm back. At tapos na ni Ma'am Zara, i-review ang all exterior design. So, now, I'm gonna show you all the interior and features of this Isuzu LSA Plus D-Max. So, let's start here sa kanyang uh, door panel. It's made with high-quality plastic. So, dito naman sa kanyang door handle, it is a silver accent. So, compared sa LSE natin na top-of-the-line unit, so, it was a uh, dark gray. So here, we have the armrest. So it's made with fabric, so it would be very comfortable for you to rest your arm here. And then dito naman sa kanyang katabi is may compartment dito na maliit. And then dito naman is lagayan ng uh, tumbler or mga container. So ito naman ang ating uh, Isuzu D-Max is meron siyang six speaker. And then dito is meron siyang malaking handle. And dito din. And then dito naman tayo sa Loob. So, dito naman sa loob, we have here our headliner. It's light color compared to our top of the line na unit. And then, yung doom light naman niya is halogen na siya. So, here we have a small compartment for our coins or phone. Pwede din siya sa phone. And then, dito meron din siyang uh, Type-C na charging port. And also, yung kanyang, ano, meron siyang two air vents dito na color black. Dito naman, meron siyang mga packet sa likod, sa likod ng seat. Here. And then, dito sa ating seat, it's fabric. 
So comfortable lang siya upuan. And then dito, armrest din siya na may lagayan ng cup. So under our seat, meron siyang secret compartment for sa mga VIP. Mostly nilalagay nila mga gun. So dito. And then, kabilaan siya. Dito din sa kabila. So dito sa back is comfortable siya upuan. And then yung headroom naman is may isang dangkal pa siya na space. Para sa akin. 5'2 kasi yung height ko. So, dito naman sa kanyang legroom, isa ding dangkal. So, okay lang siya sa mga matangkad. Kasi may space pa. So, after dito, dun na tayo sa front. So, dito naman sa driver's seat, ganun pa rin kagaya sa likod. It's a high quality plastic, yung kanyang door panel, and then yung silver accent na door handle. So, dito lang is nawala na yung Mure Uri design niya. And then, sa armrest naman is soft pa din, kagaya nung sa likod. And then, meron siyang small compartment here. And then, dito naman is yung ating door and window controls. Tsaka yung side mirror. Naka-power truck na siya. So, di mo na kailangan bumaba para itiklop yung a side mirror. Yan. So, dito, automatic down lang is dito sa driver's seat. So, yung uh, window niya. Pagpataas naman, kailangan mo siyang i-control manually. So, dito naman sa baba na part, meron ditong malaking space for our tumbler and napakalaking space for mga kung ano-anong pwede nating ilagay. Dito naman sa ating driver's side, meron tayong uh, air vents na color black naman siya. And then, nawala yung uh, Mura Uri design natin dito, pero andito siya sa taas. And then, hanggang dun sa kabila. And dito naman, meron tayong uh, cup holder. Pwede din siyang maging tray. So, ganyan. And then dito naman is the traction control. And then the headlight leveling. So, dito naman ay meron tayong small compartment for coins din. And then dito is yung gas tank and for our uh, hood. So, dito naman sa ating seat is meron siyang six-way uh, six manual adjust. And sa kabila is four-way manual adjust. So, ang ating uh, fabric, fabric pa rin ang kanyang material na gamit dito. So, dito naman sa ating steering wheel, it's leather with white stitches and then meron siyang a touch of silver accent. And then dito, yung controls natin for the infotainment, meron din siyang controls for call. Sa right side, meron tayong space dito kasi wala siyang ADAS. And then dito naman is controls siya for the instrument panel. So, dito naman sa ating light control and then dito sa ating wiper uh, control, nakakontrol siya manually. And then, i-check natin kung yung steering wheel ba is tilt and telescopic. Uh, so, yeah. You can uh, adjust your steering wheel based on your driving uh, preference. And then, check na lang natin yung horn niya. So, dito naman sa ating instrument panel, meron tayo ditong tachometer and then the speedometer. So, both analog siya. And then, meron naman tayo ditong 4.2 display na screen. So, dito natin siya makakontrol. So, dito guys, meron tayong grab handle. Pero dito, wala siya. Pero na okay naman kasi meron siya sa kabila. So, meron grab handle and then isa pang grab handle dyan sa front part. And then, ang ating map light, Halogen na siya, guys. And then dito, meron din siyang sunglass holder. And then ang ating sun visor, dito wala siyang design sa driver part. And then dito, meron siyang mirror but wala siyang light. Okay. Ayan. And then dito naman, ang ating rear view mirror, naka-manual siya, day and night. So dito sa ating dashboard, it's made with high quality plastic pa rin. And then dito, meron tayong uh, compartment for documents or pwede din lagay ng cellphone. And then yung hazard niya andito. And then dito naman is meron siyang silver pa rin. And then yung ating Mura O-ring na design. And then yung ating tweeters andito. Dalawa siya, side by side. And then yung ating compartment, guys, meron dito. And then dito, yung glove uh, compartment natin. Maliit lang dito, pero okay naman siya kasi meron ding malaking space dito. 
So, dito naman sa ating side, dito sa side na to, is meron siyang armrest na may compartment sa loob. So, wala naman kung ano-ano dito ang na-design. Dito naman is another na cup holder. And then, yung ating uh, manual handbrake. So, it's made with plastic. Ito, itong tatlo. So, dito naman sa ating center console, meron tayo dito ang hill descent assist na button. So, ito naman is park sensors on and off. So, dito naman sa ating DVR, but dito natin pwede isaksak ang flash drive para makuha natin yung mga recording sa ating dash, uh, dash cam. And then, dito naman sa button na to, AVM, kiklik lang natin to and makikita natin yung 360 view. So, dito naman meron tayong gear shift. It has a uh, elegant design na parang medyo glass dito. And then, meron siyang plus minus. So, dito is leather, yung kanyahang uh, material. And then, meron din tayo ditong uh, 12 volts. And then, the USB port, type C and type A. So, dito naman, meron tayong wireless charging pad. And controls ng ating aircon is manual. So, naka 3 dials siya. So, yung difference niya between the top of the line na unit is naka uh, fully automatic and digital yun. And then, ito is manual lang. Pagdating naman dito sa ating LSA Plus infotainment, it's 10.1 inches, kagaya dun sa ating uh, top of the line unit. Uh, compared to LSA na hindi siya plus, it's 9 inches lamang. And it's powered by uh, wireless Android Auto and wireless Apple CarPlay. So, meron na din siyang climbometer. And then, yung offline maps. So, very convenient na siya, no? And then, dito naman, ma-access natin yung 360 camera view. So, makikita mo kung ano yung mga nasa paligid ng sasakyan mo. So, first time ko pala i-review itong Isuzu D-MAX uh, LSA+. Plus. Uh, for me, it's very convenient and for its price na 1.5 million, I think goods na siya and panalo ka na. Especially meron siyang mga new features and especially itong uh, wireless charging pad. With its feature na meron siyang 360 camera, makikita mo talaga yung full view ng sasakyan outside. So I think goods na siya and then yung kanyang pagka classy and elegant looking sa mga design. And then if concern nyo naman is yung... Uh, seat na fabric, pwede nyo naman siyang i-convert into uh, leather. So, that's the full review of our interior design and balik na tayo kay Sarah. So, yun na nga ang aming uh, full review of this Isuzu LSA Plus D-MAX. Sa mga uh, viewers natin na gustong makita personally ang ating mga unit dito sa Isuzu Bacoor, you can contact Ma'am Nika pa flash namin sa screen yung kanyang personal information. And yung nasa likod pala namin is yung LSE 4x2 version nila. So, kung hindi nyo pa napapanood yung vlog nila Ate Mela Sue and Ate Darlene, you may browse our YouTube channel CarViewPH. And if hindi ka pa nag-subscribe, you may subscribe to our YouTube channel CarViewPH and hit the notification bell para lagi kayo updated sa mga upcoming uploads namin. So guys, see you in our next videos! Bye! Bye! So hi guys, it's me again. I... <laughs> no, 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 not overwhelmed. <laughs> I get it. Oh, man, look at that. Rolling. And thank you guys for your time reverse. Sing the light and reverse. Reverse signal. Reverse signal. So ito na mga ating... Uh, so ito na mga ating... Uh, that's my baba by So, so guys, see you in our next video. So fun.